Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I hope you all are doing great. Once a man told me, your determination when you have nothing and your attitude when you have everything. Now, talking about what are the activities or tasks which I make sure to complete every single day, it goes like this. Going to my college, getting my assignments done, preparing myself for my competitive exams, getting my clients' uh, website or projects completed, uh, working on the videos or content to edit uh, some editors, to find out some editors, and then working on my startup with my friend, and uh, organizing my content, all of these, it goes on and on and on. And I make sure to keep myself productive and not just productive, keep myself 98% of every single day myself productive. Now, few people might think it's just a joke. Few people might think, how? Well, I follow six pillars or six keys that I make sure to follow every single time, every single day, every single morning. When I get up, I make sure to follow this and I thought of, you know, why not share it to you people and help you people too in getting productive. Because when I share the six keys and pillars to my friends, uh, well, many of my friends are way too lazy. Uh, they were lazy. They were not lazy now. <laughs> they were lazy before. Well, I thought, why not I share my uh, techniques, what I follow, just share it to them and let's see how it works to them. And literally, it helped them a lot. Uh, they came back to me and just they told um, your productivity techniques helped us a lot. And I thought, why not share it to you people and help you all? Because I'm sure you all have day-to-day -day activities that or tasks that you need to complete. Well, you might be lazy or you might not have that motivation to complete. Uh, but after seeing this videos, after seeing this techniques or the six pillars, I'm sure you will all become uh, productive uh, that I've told. So it's not just about and before, you know, before moving into this video, it's not just about, you know, these techniques or uh, keys that I just tell you, just follow them and just do that and you will just get productive. It's about, you know, following every single day, every single time until unless you are not genuine to yourself, if you're not genuine to the techniques, what I tell you today. You won't be able to even reach 65% of the productivity, right? So make sure to follow them. Make sure to follow them in a genuine way. Uh, it does not matter if you comment in my video, if you dislike the video. It does not matter. For me, what matters is you people getting that productive. And the only way to get productive is follow the techniques every single day, every single time, every single morning or night, however you want it. Just follow them and see the results. And one more thing what I would say before we move into the video is make sure to have a book, make sure to have a note and jot it down whatever I say because it's going to be important that you follow up with this and make sure to jot down your results, what you have done every single day after you follow the technique. Once you start, maybe you started from today or while you get up tomorrow. Just jot down whatever results. Maybe you just got productive a little bit or you do not even get productive. It's fine. Just jot it down. Be genuine to yourself. Be genuine to this video. To me also is fine. Just take it like, you know, I would suggest take it like an advice from your elder brother or your younger brother or your friend, however you want. Just take like my advice or the advice from any of these. So it's like an advice to you, just those advice of techniques that you can follow. So be genuine to yourself and I'm sure you will reach 98% or who knows more than that also. So without wasting more time, let's get straight into the video. Now, the first one is use technology in a smart way. Now, internet right now is the biggest gift that anyone can get in their life or uh, to stay productive and to use it in a better way now we use facebook instagram whatsapp gmail google all kind of platforms that are there on the internet uh, for some or the purposes or for our entertainment for reaching out to someone or anything that's possible with the help of internet uh, with this technology also well, if we use the technology in a smart way, we can keep ourselves way, way better and productive. Well, 
talking about the first technology or not even a technology if i have to tell it's a platform that helps you productive is whatsapp now whatsapp indeed is the best platform to message to reach out to get your deals or or uh, to whatever you want to convey to your clients or freelancers or editors or uh, whatever you want to do is the best way to reach out to someone and in a better way as it is is easier by one click you can just send messages and stuff now what happens is most of the time when we message to someone all kind of messages from our friends family uh, from our clients customers uh, from a boss or from the manager or all kind of people get into one single place right one single hub well what happens right here is while you're messaging someone while you're messaging your client or customer or your manager or anyone else uh, you suddenly get a notification of your friend your college mate or your family or uh, you just you know move to that place or move to that platform where you're messaging your when you where you have your group uh, not your platform where you have a group of your friends family or the chats uh, there you get into their chats and you start messaging them and tend to forget that you were messaging someone who was important who was uh, important at that specific time right now what exactly happens right here is we lose our productivity uh just by getting distracted uh, from the messages that come and just by those notifications we just get distracted on what a work or task we needed to complete it right well this chrome extension or this platform that is kobe helps you lot helps me a lot in my uh, day to day activities that i need to complete or task which i need to complete uh, and i'm sure it will help you too as this creates a division like if you have 100 messages you can just put them into that uh, then there are there's a section where you can keep like must message or messages that has to be done you can create that you have a section for that you can also create a section for work you can create a section for your friends family or if you have a very important person such as if you have your boss or manager that you must message him you can just create a section for vip uh and then you can just message them so there are a lot of things that you can do with the help of kobe the platform uh this one platform which i will definitely recommend you guys to use it while you use whatsapp so i will recommend whatsapp i am sure you guys will be using it so with whatsapp use kobe as the extension for that so it will help you be much more productive now with whatsapp i will definitely recommend you to use gmail for each and everything or maybe you're writing a mail maybe you're sending a message instead of whatsapp i will depend more on you know gmails because whatsapp you know some extents it is safe but some extent it is not that much safe enough than you know gmail that you use so i keep most of my work that uh, i do in gmail so it helps me to contact my uh, customers my clients my freelancers whom i need them i just message them through that and it also does not create a distraction for me as there are no family and friends that come into the play until unless i put them in my gmail section where i need to message them well i would not do that much because i already have whatsapp or any other social media platforms so gmail is another alternative option that you can use for increasing your productivity for keeping yourself safe and use as much as gmail as possible because it helps you much more clear customized and productive than whatsapp so if you have to take my suggestion um i would recommend you to use a uh, gmail alongside with whatsapp that you can keep for your friends family and if you want to keep your you know whoever work or people whom you just work for or people who work for you if you want to keep them in whatsapp you can keep them too so use both of these hand in hand so it will help you be much more productive in your day to day activities now along with gmail i am also recommending you this extension which i use every single day every single time when i message someone in whatsapp or mainly in gmail when i'm writing a message to my client i tend to forget what grammatical mistakes i've done or 
what are those messages or what are those words that could be much more better and convincing the client even more better i forget them and i just write my basic english and that just keeps the mail so boring so with the help of this extension it makes makes my message much more better and clear so it's called as grammarly i'm sure most of the people will be knowing this so i'll highly recommend you guys to use grammarly uh, with along with gmail and keeping whatsapp as as you know as a side uh, platform for messaging it will be much more better to keep yourself productive so use grammarly use gmail more uh, use whatsapp as a side messaging tool so with whatsapp with kobe it will help you a lot in becoming productive in your messages in convincing your message so link is there of uh, kobe as well as grammarly in the description so make sure to check out them now messaging someone through gmail messaging someone through whatsapp all of these uh, is a task to complete right well there might be times when you may have to message someone with this period of time from 9:30 to 11 or there might be a message or a meeting that has to be scheduled with this period of time a lot of things that you may have to manage your time in a better way and when things just go out of hand you'll lose the time management you lose your productivity you lose the motivation all of these just hit at one single time right well this platform which i use i use it every single time every single day along with my kobe grammarly and other extensions i make sure to use this platform uh, which helps me to keep my time managed in a better way so the platform is notion so most of the people right here will be using notion i'm sure but people who don't use it i will highly recommend them to use notion because it's a platform which you can put your to do list do list and doing list so all of this at one hub which will keep you much more productive notion is a platform which i will recommend everyone to use maybe you're a college student maybe you're a school student maybe you're working in some company maybe you have your own company i will highly recommend you to use notion because it just keeps your task at one single place to just finish and once you're done with that you can just put it in the done list and it just keeps your productivity increase and the task that has to be completed in a much better manner so i'll highly recommend you guys to use this uh, platform or this extension there's an also there's an extension for notion so you can use that in your chrome browser also so if you want to do that do go and uh, check it out as well as the platform make sure to check it out uh, the link is there in description so make sure to check out the link uh, link in the description now we spoke about using technology platforms in a smart way now that was one thing that you can use uh, to keep yourself productive but it does not mean by just using technology you can just become productive right or you just by using platforms you just become productive no that does not work like that so with this i use a second pillar of mine a second key that i use i make sure to use every single day and this one i will recommend or uh, to use it every single time when you do your task and i will tell you use it in a sincere manner okay don't cheat yourself while you do this task or be genuine to what i'm going to tell right now or uh, to do so this is called as the 90 minutes and the 20 minutes strategy now what exactly is this 90 minutes and 20 minutes strategy so the next 90 minutes what you are going to do is you're going to first plan yourself what task you want to complete for example if i talk about myself if i have an editing for the video to be done what i do is for the next 90 minutes i keep an alarm for 90 minutes and in my phone or if you want to keep an alarm whatever you want to do you can do that i do it like that with my phone then i sit for my editing i sit and i don't use any other things i don't use my phone i don't use or anything my lap laptop i just open the editor i just keep on editing for the next 90 minutes and then once the 90 minutes is done once the alarm just uh, shows up i put a 20 minutes timer again so once the 20 minutes starts i use myself or you can use that 20 minutes time for reading or uh, maybe going for some walk maybe uh, you know playing some game using other platforms such as youtube instagram facebook whatever you want to use you can do in the next 20 minutes keep yourself happy keep yourself enjoying so 20 minutes is the time for free so you can like it's like a break for you for the 20 minutes 
so once the 20 minutes is done you're again gonna sit again for 90 minutes and that cycle keeps on repeating so if i'm sitting for 90 minutes editing once the 20 minutes is done uh, also once the 90 minutes is done i start my 20 minutes target and in the 20 minutes target i maybe read some book i open youtube and watch some videos to learn something new or all of these just i do it in my 20 minutes target and once the 20 minutes is done i get back to my 90 minutes now what exactly happens in this now this develops deep focus now when you're doing the 90 minutes when you're not touching anything your phone your laptop or while you're reading if you're not doing any other things it creates that deep focus in your mind you're stick on sticking on to one single thing and once in that 90 minutes is completed you have that break so it's like you know you're doing some tasks to complete but you know that in the next after this task is done you have something to enjoy right you're getting some reward so that's what keeps you in deep focus that's what will help you achieve a task so i will definitely recommend you guys to use this 90 20 minute strategy in a sincere manner so do let me know in the comment section will you do this pillar in a sincere manner or not and from today or not so let me know in the comment section now we spoke about the 90 minutes and the 20 minutes strategy right now 90 minutes 20 minutes strategy doing it in a sincere way is a must but apart from this there are three pillars which you have to focus every single day every single time now these three pillars are called as the pillars of health if you don't focus on this whatever technology you use whatever platform you use whatever strategy you use it won't work now productivity is not just you know just doing some technology that or doing some platform that helps you in increasing and then following some strategy will increase your productivity no it does not work like that if you don't cope up with your health Whatever strategy you use, whatever technology you use, it won't work. Maybe there might be an increase in 2 to 3%, but if you don't take care of your health, if you don't take care of yourself, there's no one to take care of you, right? So these three pillars or three pillars of health is a must. First thing is food. Food is a must thing in your diet. Now, everyone eats food. What's that new? Eating the proper food is important. Now, I'm sure you must be thinking, why is this guy talking like in the school? Because everyone in the school just says the same. Everyone in the college says the same. But let me tell you, there's a huge impact in your mind. It depends on how your mindset is when you do a task. And the mind depends on what food you eat. Now, I'm not telling, telling don't eat burger, don't eat pizza, don't eat, you know, french fries or whatever food you like the most, pastas or chips or juice, whatever you want to do. I'm not telling don't do it, eat. But at the same time, look at those foods which is important for your mind, which is important for your health. First of all, reduce the processed food as much as possible. You eat them, but at a limit, not too much. You know, they say too much is too bad. That's what exactly is, you know, reduce the amount of processed food, increase the amount of protein or uh, veggies or vegetables. And I will recommend in a day, at least eat two eggs. If you are not a person who does not eat egg, try to focus on paneer because paneer is one of uh, best protein that will help you increase your that mindset and your productivity at the same time that mindset has to be built so intake should be better now food is one thing the other thing is sleep now most of the people just say oh billionaires who just get up at 7 so 5 a.m all you know people who are productive who are successful enough get up, get up at 5 a.m yes they get up at 5 a.m but before they get up at 5 a.m they make sure to sleep for the seven hours until and unless your seven hours is completed until unless your six hours of sleep is completed you won't be that productive right even if you see elon musk bill gates or steve jobs uh whoever are the best who were or who are the best billionaires right now uh they have the seven hours of completing their sleep so make sure to complete your sleep in the specific period of time don't just you know if you if you sleep at 12 at the night and then get up at 5 
it won't work so how that seven hours if you are a if you are a person who work at night if you are night working person don't focus on getting up early focus on working till the night maybe go till 2 i will tell you go till 2 go till 3 however you want then get up the time is convenient for you get up even after 12 or 11 is fine because you're completing the seven hours of sleep if you don't complete that it's not going to help you so take care of your sleep methods the other thing that is important the third pillar that is important is keeping yourself exercised keeping yourself uh, you know productive in sports too it's not just being productive in task it's not just being productive in managing things in business or whatever task you do in your day to day life it's also about being productive in your sports or exercise you do go to the gym go to the place where you can get yourself uh, working out go for a walk uh, play i will tell you play outside more i'm not telling don't at all play video games no i'm not telling that play video games but at the same time make sure to go outside and play too because it just creates that happiness when you play with your friends it, when you play with your pet when you play with the people who knew who know you who uh, you feel better it keeps yourself more productive keep yourself more happy right so food sleep sports or exercise is a must in your life in your in your day to day activities so make sure to focus on these three these three pillars i make sure to follow every single morning when i get up i make sure to keep a book a small notebook so i'll recommend you guys to also do i create three boxes in right next to the boxes i write sports exercise i write food and then i write sleep so once i'm done with that i'll just put a tick so once it is done i put a tick once i've played a sport i write down the sport what i played maybe i played sport for football i played for sport of cricket i just write it down and put a tick so that keeps me updated that yes i have completed something in today or for the specific day so if you want to follow that make sure to go ahead and follow no issues and but make sure to follow these three things follow up and being sincere is more important right so that is what it is about we spoke about using the technology uh, in a smart way using the platform in a smart way uh, we also spoke about the 90 minutes and the 20 minutes strategy uh, we spoke about the pillars of health food sleep sports and exercise uh but people right here who are watching the video few people right here might be thinking uh vignesh all of these are fine but i don't think so i'll be able to do them or you might be thinking that um uh, it's difficult to finish certain task which i want to complete which i just want to finish it as soon as possible but i won't be able to do i don't have that motivation so most of the people right here who are watching this video will definitely feel that thought and i myself used to always have that thought in my mind i used to always have that fear that i would never finish certain task never finish certain things which i want to finish within that period of time or within that day and would not end up finishing it uh, until and unless i found uh, one guy who advised me uh, this one thing Uh, which i call it as my third pillar or third key which i always follow uh, and i will be recommending you to also follow and that is uh, purpose and drive uh, to whatever you want to do so first of all if you don't have a purpose to do in life you would not be able to do anything productive no matter whatever technology or platform you use no matter how many strategies you use no matter how much health conscious you are you don't have a purpose in life to fulfill to achieve you won't be able to uh, be that productive enough so if you want to have a purpose in life for example if you're a student you are having a purpose of scoring the best uh, in your exams that's a purpose that's a target that's what you're aiming for if you want to be Uh, a businessman who wants to lead your company in the best way to bring up your company in the most in this year you have to have that purpose if you want to be the best manager in your company you need to have the purpose of having that and people say it's difficult to have that purpose until unless you have that motivation enough right 
and how do you get that motivation how do you get that things done well this is what the person advised me and that's what i'm advising you all recommending you all uh, that is creating a habit now creating a habit does not mean just by creating or telling something it becomes a habit no it does not happen like that now what is a habit habit is something which you start doing every single day it can become an addiction it can become a repeated task no matter what but addiction in a good way not in a bad manner but in a good manner so that's what a habit is all about right now how do you create a habit that's the thing right suppose if i want to read something read a book i won't be able to read a book that's the motivation what i'm not having or i'm lacking what should i do now right what is the best thing well i need to create a habit how will i create a habit is just by reading one single page every day that's it no two pages no three pages every single morning i get up i take the book i read one page of it and every day i do that i it becomes a habit and that's how you create a habit if you want to become the best manager in your firm make sure that single day or that day you make sure to plan in such a manner and coordinate with your team in such a way that every single day you make sure to do that always try to make a habit how do you make a habit do something every single time that's it do anything you want but make sure to do it every single day and every single time go it in a minimum quantity or amount then try to maximize it now as i told book start with one page of reading okay just start with one page of reading every single day as you are in the 10th day or the 15th day try to increase it to two pages so that habit will slowly start increasing 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 and you feel that you know if at all you don't finish that task for example i myself talking about myself when i don't read a book a day a page of a book in a, a day i always have that inside feeling that i have not finished my day properly so that's the help of habit so use this technique have a purpose in life and that's the third pillar to become successful or become that productive so let me know in the comment section how many people will follow from today and let me see how many of the reply comes now i spoke about you know jotting down certain things what you want to do or what you have done uh keeping a purpose in life i spoke about the strategies all of these i spoke but there's the fifth pillar which you must follow you have to follow sincerely or else whatever you do it isn't possible now i told you sincerely you need to follow the 90 minutes 20 minutes strategy right along with this if you follow this your deep focus your mind becomes very very powerful i myself have experienced this it's from my experience i'm telling you so the fifth pillar is or the fifth key is reduce your dopamine okay now we all tend to use most of the social media platform maybe instagram facebook twitter youtube all of these are social media platforms where you have lot of content well i'm not telling don't at all use them if you don't use them there's no profit for you because there are lot of things that you can do from this platform but as i told you in the 90 minutes and the 20 minutes strategy when i told you too much is too bad right when too much is too bad that's what happens with all the social media platforms many people use the social media platform so much that they get just addicted to that they just feel that you know they if they have not watched it a day it feels like you have not completed right so reduce that reduce your use of social media as much as possible use it i'm not telling don't use it use it but to your limits you keep a timer if you want to keep a timer keep a timer of maybe 20 minutes is also fine 5 minutes is also fine keep a timer once the timer is up you're going to close those social media platforms you're not going to touch that back the best technique for that is keep your phones aside while you do a task you are out of that social media platform you're out of those comfort zone get out of those comfort zone 
finish your task once you're done the with the task come back to the comfort zone enjoy yourself because without comfort zone without enjoyment in life is nothing right so i i have i've seen many content creators who say just come out of your comfort zone that does not work my friend that never works you can't just leave your comfort zone as it is because comfort zone has a meaning everything has a meaning in life you can't just leave anything and just move away right so keep the comfort zone but to your limits right so reduce your dopamine as much as possible try to meditate as much as possible that's the best advice i can give you i myself try to meditate every single morning i get up i get up at 7 it does not mean you get up at 5 you can i used to get up but i am a person who work more at night right now so i make sure to have the 7 hours and so when i get up i i make my meditation i get myself into meditation i am finished with the meditation that keeps my mind calm and once i am reducing my dopamine or once i'm reducing it i have the deep focus alongside when i follow the 90 minutes 20 minutes strategy it keeps me into deep focus to do certain task and that gives me 100% productivity or you can call it as 98% of my productivity i get it right there so this is the fifth pillar which i oh, or the fifth key which i make sure to follow sincerely and i will tell you to follow this main thing this fifth pillar in a sincere manner in a genuine manner so you will be able to achieve your productivity as much as possible now the last but not the least one of my favorite pillar one of my favorite key uh, which i like the most is uh gamify your process of work now if you all remember the old good days when we used to have those games that whenever we used to play we used to get some reward in the end oh uh, and nowadays also when we have these games such as fortnite valorant we have bgmi pubg uh other games like minecraft i'm not sure there are many plenty of games in the internet i'm i'm exactly not sure whichever i knew i just told so whenever we play these games we and end of the day we get some reward right end of the match or end of the game we get a reward so if you remember the, whenever our parents used to give some work uh, we used to get a reward in the end right whenever we used to finish a task now that's the same technique what you need to follow when you do a work right now make sure that you finish a task okay you try to jot down this task which you need to you know fill or full uh, within today or finish those tasks which you want to just complete it by the next hour or next uh, moment or however you want it just jot it down uh, maybe let's assume for now let's take an example of i need to finish a website building or web building so i'll sit for that i will sit for so let's assume that if i finish the half of the website for today i make sure to reward myself for something like getting something from outside or going outside and getting something for myself buying something for myself uh something like you know that you that could reward yourself uh even a simple gift is better than the bigger ones so have something in reward when you do finish your task right so that's what is more important gamify your work if you have people who are working for you if you have an own firm you have plenty of people that work for you that work for your company keep a reward for them keep a reward if someone completes your work or task that you have given make sure to appreciate them make sure to give those rewards to them they feel happy to finish those tasks and you'll be eager that's more is important right you'll be eager to finish it so that you get those and that's the same thing what will happen if you use that in your company if you have your employees just have a reward they will have that eager or motivation to finish the task as fast as possible as quick as possible and get those rewards and one of these techniques are used in most of the apps right now if you see uh, one of the best example i can give you is cred uh, it is the best example for this they gamify right whenever you do those transaction you get something in return so that's a reward that's how you follow it so use it in your day to day life also make yourself productive by having something in reward and 100% you will be able to complete it and enjoy the reward 
and these rewards in return become your memories so that's the interesting thing about this pillar this key which i always follow uh, so let me know in the comment section did you like this pillar too of gamifying your uh, work your life as much as possible so that you reach those productivity goals so let me know in the comment section let us see how many people reply for that so make sure to follow this pillar too that's it guys for today's video i hope you guys like the video and also like the steps and the methods which i told you today uh, i hope you guys will start following these methods these pillars these keys from today every single time and every single morning and do let me know in the comment section how many of you will start following from today and also return back after you've started to become productive let me know your results let the audience also know how much of you have become productive so let us see um, how many of them just follow these steps and become productive and also let me know in the comment section if you guys want another part of productivity uh, on this topic uh, i'll do make another video on this so let me know about what kind of topic should I bring next or else in productivity what should I focus more on and that's it for today's video um, I hope you guys really like that so till then guys uh, take care so this is Vignesh signing off for today peace out guys bye